Hey guys, so I'm having, I already filmed today, I don't know why I'm saying hey, like, I'm just now starting the vlog, but I did not film a lot today, I don't know, I'm having kind of like a melancholy day, like I'm just, I'm not like, I'm not really sad about anything, I'm just kind of feel drained, like, I don't know, I don't think I slept good last night or something, like that has to be it, I remember tossing and turning a ton. And uh, I remember waking up in the middle of the night and my leg was like cramped up and my hips were hurting and it was just not a good night. <laughs> and I think it's affecting me. Um, like I feel okay though, I just feel tired and low on energy, which reminds me, I meant to tell you guys this. I, uh, I think I did tell you guys this actually, I did. I mentioned this to you guys, what am I talking about? See y'all, my brain, it doesn't even function properly when I'm this tired. Although I'm pretty sure I say something along those lines on a daily basis that my brain isn't functioning. So maybe my brain just generally doesn't function. <laughs> uh, I do have a lot going on though. But my, uh, I said I was going to buy some uh, vitamin D capsules because my doctor and myself, like we both feel like that's probably what the deal is. Like I just feel very vitamin D deficient. So I got these, they are just, by uh from a thorn research i got them on amazon and it is 25,000 um iu a day i'm not sure what iu stands for those of you who are more knowledgeable on pharmaceuticals comment below tell me what iu means i think it means um i think it means measurable unit but like or units something units i don't know I know it's something units. I want to say measurable units, but the I, I don't know. Whatever, you guys, tell me below if you guys know what that stands for. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm probably going to feel stupid <laughs> when I see what it stands for and be like, oh, yeah. But I do know the U is units. Anyway, the girls are outside playing. Narkees is resting. Aiden is playing. He's wandering the house, y'all. He's he's over there in that general, I think he's over there by Narkees, but... I'm just wiped, I'm tired. His tutor came today. I like snuck like a few seconds of footage from his tutor um, or of him with his tutor and uh, she's gonna come back again tomorrow. I need some energy, like coffee didn't even do it today y'all. Like the coffee, like I kept drinking coffee thinking okay, the energy is coming, it's coming and it just never did. I never picked up any tiny little minuscule bit of energy today, I'm just wiped so. I know that this isn't going to work quickly. Like, I know it's going to be a process. Probably won't feel tip-top for another couple of months. Um, but this is a 60-day supply because you're only supposed to take one a day. So I'm hoping, you guys, pray this works. Pray this, like, helps. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I know it's not, like, a magic cure. Y'all. <laughs> My cat. Got in my lap. Like, I was about to get up and he got in my lap. Also, a lot of y'all have been asking me uh, to talk about... Yeah, I talked about a little bit about the miscarriages yesterday. I didn't really go into a ton of detail. Um, I don't think I'm ready for detail. I kind of just gave you guys the Reader's Digest version of it. But um, <clears throat> I also get a lot of requests to talk about my anxiety. Yay! Um, <clears throat> I do have anxiety... Um, it's not as bad as it used to be. When I was in high school, when I was a teenager, it was horrendous. I mean, terrible, terrible, terrible anxiety. But um, it was it was really bad. Like, I had social anxiety to the point where I couldn't even, like, leave my house. I didn't want to go in a store. I didn't want, like, just, like, the interaction of shopping for an item and then having the interaction with the cashier and checking out and like leaving the store like just sent me into a complete panic attack. I don't know what it was. It was very bizarre. Thank the Lord it's not as bad anymore. Like I have minor social anxiety. I don't want you guys to think like I'm rocking in a corner hyperventilating. It's not that bad. But um, it used to be. It used to be pretty bad. Um, 
And I really struggled with it just a lot in high school. Um, Also, like, meeting new friends or, like, trying to make friends or, like, fear that my old friends would leave or, I don't know, just typical teenage worries. (laughs) And it's funny when you get older and, like, I look back on those teenage years I worry about myself, about me reacting to specifically the girls' problems when they're a teenager because I look back at my own and I kind of see them as very insignificant and unimportant and you'll get over it kind of a philosophy just because I've been through it and I, I feel like your boyfriend breaking up with you or you getting a bad haircut, like, come on, there are worse things. I don't know. Anyway did have social anxiety as a teenager. I still have it. I definitely will still feel it. Like if I'm out in a crowd or if I'm meeting new people, like I do feel it like building up and sometimes it does bubble over and I I feel like I really can't leave the house. Um, But 95% of the time I'm okay. Like I'm good. Like if you were to meet me out somewhere, you'd never know that I had social anxiety at all. Um, Another thing that gives me anxiety is talking on the telephone. Why this is, I don't know. But I will text until I'm blue in the face. I cattail, cattail. <laughs> I will text as many times as anyone wants me to. Like I will text all day long. That's great with me. But actually getting on the phone and talking to someone, I hate it. I, the girls are fighting outside. I can hear them fussing. I just hate talking on the phone. I can't stand it. I think that's one of the only things that will still spur my um, bug that will still spur my anxiety is just talking on the phone. I need to go investigate. They are fussing, fussing, fussing. Get up, Katie. Oh my gosh. Let's see what the malfunction is. Hey, what's the problem? Doesn't sound like nothing. It's always nothing. Piper, leave puppies alone. Be sweet. No, my camera will not focus. Zoe's on the swing and Piper's over there. (laughs) One of our neighbor's dogs, y'all. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of worries me. She's really aggressive. I mean, like a really aggressive dog. But, I mean, they keep her in the fence and they're really great about watching and if my girls are out, they won't let that dog out. And, you know, they're really mindful and they're good neighbors. But, um, go outside, please. Anyway, it's a moderately aggressive dog. I say moderately aggressive, but I don't know. I'm honestly, sometimes I wonder if that fence was not there, I feel like that dog would tear one of my kids to shreds. I'm being dead serious. Um, It does worry me a little bit, but... They're really good with it and I've spoken with him and she's a good dog like to them. Like she's had, they've had her since she was a puppy and she's a good dog. But um, she just does not like people (laughs) at all. She's not like anybody that is not her owners. And uh, he has like a a muzzle he'll put on it and I don't know. He has two other dogs too that are just as sweet as they can be and we play with them all the time. But there's just the one dog next door. So I feel like I'm always like watching, especially if I know that they're home and they're kind of letting their dogs in and out. I'm just terrified that dog's going to like jump the fence and get at one of the kids. But anyway, they said they are installing a uh, privacy fence, like a really big, like one of those 12 foot tall fences going along our yard to theirs so that it won't be a worry anymore. Um, and I had mentioned if they weren't going to do that, then I was, um, just because I have four kids and I do not want them being attacked by a dog, (laughs) but y'all it's seriously like watching the dog with her owners. She looks like the sweetest dog on the planet. Like she is so sweet to them and she's adorable. She's absolutely adorable. She's just stinking mean (laughs) to everyone else. No.